In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five beginner boneless tricks that you can go out and learn today. These are very easy tricks I'm going to be talking about, so again, I feel like you'll be able to go out there and learn these very quickly. For me personally, I really enjoy boneless tricks. I think they're super fun, but they're not that popular. I don't see a lot of people doing them very often. I'm actually going to look up the official definition for a boneless trick. According to Google, a boneless is a street trick where you grab the middle of the board with your hand, plant one foot on the ground, pop the board up, and then land back on the ground with both feet on the board. Pretty easy to understand, right? Now the boneless is a great trick because you can use it to go over obstacles, up curbs, off curbs. This trick is actually, you can think of it like a life hack for the ollie. I don't ollie too much on my long board. I stick to more no complies and hand tricks. And now that we know what a boneless trick is, we can dive into the five other variations surrounding this trick. The first variation we're going to talk about is the boneless 180. And this is very similar to the regular boneless. The only difference we're going to be making is that you're going to be turning the board 180 along with your body. I would say the hardest part about this trick is landing in your switch position. Some of you who are beginner riders may not be used to landing switch. And if you watch my latest video where I talked about beginner tips, I mentioned how you should try and work on practicing switch along with pushing in your normal stance for reasons like this. So as you reach down to pick up the board and you are turning it, you're not going to let go until the board has reached that 180 degree mark. And since this is a boneless trick, again, that back foot stays connected to the board at all times. In order to help you with that 180 rotation, try and focus on that front foot and how you plant it on the ground. When you plant your foot for a normal boneless, your toes are kind of aimed out in front of you while for the boneless 180, your toes are more pointed outwards away from you. And this helps with that 180 rotation. So you can keep that in mind, try out different things to see what is most comfortable for you. This is a great trick. Let's move on to the next trick. I want to be efficient. Let's talk about the boneless shove it next. So for this trick, instead of reaching on the outside of your board as you would for a regular boneless and a boneless 180, you're going to be reaching on the inside of your board. If you're regular stanced, you're going to be reaching on the left side of your deck. If you're goofy, you're going to be reaching with your left hand on the right side of your deck. And I'll be showing videos of what I mean by inside of your board. After doing Doing this trick it is just super satisfying because it all kind of flows together it might feel awkward at first reaching on the inside of your board but once you get down you'll fall in love with this trick with this trick you're not rotating your body you're just rotating the board 180 degrees and it's rotating in a backside motion rather than front side I think this trick is super steezy super clean this one actually might be easier than the boneless 180 now that I'm thinking of it because you are landing in your regular stance you all can comment down below after trying out these tricks in this video and you can let me know which one was easiest for you to learn I'm curious actually because everyone is different and progresses differently moving on to boneless trick variation number three we're gonna talk about the boneless body burial in this trick it is just your body that is turning 180 degrees you're just doing a normal boneless this one is super simple compared to the other tricks you are landing in your opposite stance position Position. But the reason why I love the boneless body burial is because you can throw it in a line and you can set yourself up for a fakie trick. This is probably the biggest variation that really you don't see anyone ever do, but it's a great beginner trick. If you're comfortable riding switch, you can go out there and you can definitely learn this within a day. As soon as you let go of that board, your back foot that's connected more towards the end of your back kick tail, you're just going to kind of glide it up towards the front and you're going to use that foot that was planted on the ground to kind of gravitate towards where you're back foot was originally so you're not going to be turning your body backside but it's going to do a front side body burial just to make things a little bit more easy since your body's already kind of moving in that direction this next trick is pretty popular super common everyone loves this trick this one's called the boneless finger flip same exact motion as the boneless the only difference is when you pick up that board you're going to be flipping it a lot of people like to learn this trick before learning how to kick flip they feel that sense of security and safety when they plant their foot down yet you're still getting that feeling of landing on a board that is flipping in the air. As soon as you see that grip tape again, you're just gonna wanna stomp back on the board with both feet. I've actually never tried a boneless double flip before. I'm gonna have to write that one down, try it out next time. This last and final trick I'm gonna talk about is the hardest of the five variations that we've talked about today. It's called a boneless three shove and it's very similar to the regular boneless shove it. You're gonna also be reaching inside for this trick and instead of shoving the board 180, it's going to rotate a full 360 degrees. I just had to throw this one into this list because it looks really really cool and I know you can learn it if you practice hard enough to practice this trick you can work on jumping on the board a little bit later because it does need more time to rotate you're gonna be a little bit
bit more aggressive rotating the board. It's gonna spin faster, it's gonna look sicker. When you're popping this board, you kinda wanna pop it straight up in the air, but still give it that little scoop as if you're doing a pop shove it motion. When you're reaching for the inside of the deck, try and reach closer to the nose, so the momentum will kind of help. It might feel a little awkward if you are grabbing towards the back kicktail, but try out new things. If one thing's not working out, try something new. You might surprise yourself. Definitely work on all of these tricks while moving because momentum plays a huge role in these boneless tricks. But start off slow at first and then over time as you do these more and more you'll get more comfortable with them. You'll get them down faster and get creative. There's so many other variations that you can throw in, spice things up with this trick. And that's pretty much it for these five beginner boneless tricks that you can learn. You can try and go out and learn them with your friends. The sun's starting to go down so I think it is time for me to end the video here. Let me know down below what other longboard videos you all want to see from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.